Hey guys, we are going back into Moon of Unknown Origin for another rank one clear. Uh, we're doing a fire team with Flaming Ether Rain. Uh, he's only EX1 at this point. But here is the rest of the party. Um, can't think of a good swap for Cleome. Uh, she's our source of beast killer. Um... Yeah, and she's the main damage dealer on the team. So, yeah, I would say if you don't have Cleome, um, this may not be the clear for you. But here's a rank one clear with Cleome at any rate. Um, and again, going over the boss, it's a beast stone, weak to fire, lightning, and dark. Uses AoE physicals that you can deal with with Mirage. They have accuracy, so you can't evade them. You could tank them, I guess. Or you can imbue the boss and absorb the... Or resist that element. But that's more a Melissa thing. Or Kresnik. But uh, we're just using Mirage. There are plenty of uh, members of this party that have Mirage. Multi-stack Mirage. So, But yeah, it does uncoverable magic damage that... It's like a wet noodle, as they say. Uh, some gravity damage, that's not a big deal. Um, puts a mirage on itself, that's kind of a hassle to deal with, but you can either perfect dispel it away or chain it away. But we'll get there. So anyway, we have Roberta here for fire support. Base form, just built for damage against... Uh, Beast and Stone, so max on both. And here's her gear. She's got all this card for some killers. In shift form, she has uh, some preemptive morale fill, just otherwise morale fill type gear. So there's that. Kaito. Base form, uh, dual wielding with a uh, morale card. Oh wait, no, he does not have a morale card. But dual wielding anyways, with some morale fill equipment. So there's that. And shift form, built for damage against beast and stone. He's max beast, max stone, 275 LB. We're doing more chaining with him than his LB. But there's his gear. Sylvie, uh, geared identically in both forms. Just dual wielding with her own card, uh, morale fill card. Um, so with modifiers, she's pretty high fire and dark resist. But counter build on her, just to heal the party back up. <clears throat> Rain, base form, Dragon's Rush, Call of the Wild, otherwise built for damage. Uh, he needs 10,000 needles as well. Then Vilk's Vision card for the morale fill. Then Shift form, built for LB damage against Beast and Stone. So, max on everything. He's got his event sword. His damage is pretty uh, sad at EX1. Honestly, without that big fire amp. I mean, you could maybe, if you had an EX2 rain or EX3, get by without Cleom. Just throw another damage dealer in here. Or, or a source of beast killer. Chizuru would be a good option. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Chizuru would be a good swap for Cleom, especially if you have an EX2 rain. Just because she doesn't have... Uh, um, Chizuru doesn't have a 150 amp. Uh, Cleom's the only one on the party right now that has a 150 amp, so EX2 rain would be... Would definitely make swaps a little easier. But anyway, went all in on Cleom for the gearing. But she's 300 beast. Uh, yeah, just 
Oh wait, she's low on stone. Did I lose a bit? I think I did, because I swapped cards on her. Let's see what we can do about that. No wonder my damage was so abysmal. What can we swap out here for stone killer? I guess we can give up some flat magic for killers. Oh, yeah, all it has that. Well, what can we do with espers? We can So, okay, max on everything now. What does that do for rain? He is, where's his stone at? It's dropped a ton. Where's his LB damage? Way over capped. So, let's give rain some more stone killer. Can he equip hats? Yes, he can. So, again, I guess we sacrifice a little attack for some stone killer. There we go. All right. So, now he's maxed on everything. She's maxed on everything in the base form with the cool smile card. Yeah, I had a different card on her that had uh, stone killer, apparently. But... Shift form, uh, yeah, shift form, she has some LB fill in ability one and ability three in place of LB damage, so, so there's that, then Olive, uh, just Max on everything. And if you don't have Dark Reigns uh, card, you could always swap in, if you have it, just Emperor's Armor or some other, I mean, or another chess piece that gives some LB damage. There are a lot of cards that give, you know, at least 50 LB damage, so you could put in some other chess piece that gives 50 LB damage. So anyway, I'm going to cut the video and then uh, in case anything goes wrong, which I don't expect it will, but just in case, cut the video and then jump back in. All right. And before we jump into the fight, I do want to call out that Roberta's starting in shift, Kaito's in base, Sylvie's in base, Rain's in base, and Cleom is shifted. So... We will get into it. All right, so the very first thing we want to do is LB with Olive. Then we're going to start filling LB with Sylvie and Roberta. So Sylvie on this turn is going to Paladin's Defense for the Mirage and um, filling LB on Rain and Olive, Compassionate Knight to get rid of the breaks, and then Elemental Vines for the Magic Mitigation. Roberta is going to the base form. She's going to fill Morale, Imbue Fire, Amplify Fire, and Imperil Fire, and then Draconic Triune to fill Rain the rest of the way. Rain's going to shift and do a shifted LB. And Kaito is going to man a few words. You want to make sure you don't do receding tide, because that's only a four stack of Mirage compared to Sylvie's five, and that would override Sylvie's uh, 
Mirage. So, made a few words, Tranquil Flow and Cascading Slash. Then Cleom is going to Blood Red Performance for the LB modifier, uh, Slayer Symphony for a rolling killer on the party, and then Gallant Crescendo. So we'll just send them. Okay. So Sylvie, this turn, is going to Paladin's Offense for stat buff and LB fill on Olive. Uh, physical Mitigation. And then uh, Paladin's Resolve for some Morale fill and Regen. The Regen's kind of whatever, because she counterattacks and heals every turn anyway. So we'll do that. We're going to LB Olive. Just to unlock her big store ability. Let's see what else we're doing. Sorry, it's been a couple days since I've ran through this. Kaito is going to Torrential Force to start powering up uh, Torrential Blade Storm. And then just do his Morale Fill Bolting Strike skills. Roberta is going to go to the Shift Form. She is going to fill Morale, give us Stone Killer. And then Emissary of Demise for a mod boost on everyone. Rain is going to give himself a 200% beast killer. And then Pulverizing Force twice. And Cleom is going to uh, Prodigious Protection. That's a beast mitigation. And then Gallant Crescendo twice. So we will... I mean, the boss still has his... You know, defense and spirit buff up, but we're still going to try to cap all of LB. So we'll send her and wait a few seconds and then send everyone else. Yeah, he healing on this party is not an issue at all with Sylvie. Okay, so we can actually do a bit of chip damage starting this turn. Uh, Sylvie is just going to do a standard cap. Uh, she will Gunner Guardian, Flaming Melons, uh, Bigger... Is that... Beast Killer? Where's her Beast Killer? Ah, yeah. Beast Killer, Store, and then Cap. Kaito is going to Shift. Because remember, the boss has a Mirage this turn. So Kaito can Perfect Dispel that away with Crashing Waves. And then just his Morale Fill skills. Rain can do an AoE buff on everyone with Aldor Leader. Then Bolting Strike, just to make sure he chains properly with Kaito. Cleom can do her Shifted LB to power up her Base Horn LB. Roberta, this turn, is going, going to the Base Horn. She's going to put up her Base Horn LB, and Sylvie's going to do her Shifted LB. So we'll do Sylvie and... Roberta. So we'll send Olive, wait a couple sec seconds, send Rain and Kaito, and then Cleom immediately after. Just, uh, yeah, Kaito's perfect dispel should be in place before Olive's capping skill hits, so...
All right, and that ate up the last of our Mirage stacks from Sylvie. So we're going to apply Mirage with Roberta with Support from the Skies. Actually, what we the order we're going to do this in is Mega Breath, then Support from the Skies, and then just refresh the Fire Amp. Kaito this turn is going to apply his Good Breaks. He's going to do Flux, Stream, and then one of those Morale Fill, Bolting Strike, strike Skills. Rain is going to just Bolting Strike three times, I believe. Oh no, he's not. He's going to Bolting Strike twice, and then Armor Grant Me Power to fill his own LB Gauge. Cleom is going to Bolting Strike twice, and then Scarlet Sharp Note. And let's see, Olive is going to cap. She is going to, let's see, Animals and Machines, just whatever else, store, cap, and then do her big store ability at the end. And Sylvie, this turn, what is she doing? She's going to give a big stone killer to Cleo. Crack stone over to Cleo. And then just fill morale twice. So we'll send Sylvie first. Activate our attack buff. So we'll send... Olive, then Roberta, then Rain, Cleum, and Kaito. Let me double check Kaito's actions, make sure he's doing the right thing. Yeah, he is. Both of his big breaks and then a morale fill, so. Yeah, Kaito makes chipping the boss's health down quite a bit easier. <clears throat> okay, now we uh, do our big burst. We're going to activate our skills here. So Rain can LB, Roberta can Quad Mystic Breath. We're going to triple Blade Storm with Kaito. Sylvie is going to triple Bolting Strike to Chain with Kaito. Olive is going to SLB and Cleum is going to Base Form LB. So we're going to start the chain with Roberta. We're not going to wait too long to send Kaito and uh, Sylvie. Send Rain once the chain starts. Wait a sec and then send Olive and Cleo. So here we go. Okay, 2.9. All right, so this turn we need rain. He's forced back to the base form. We need 10,000 needles from him. Cleom is going to bolting strike three times. <clears throat> This does fill her LB in the base form too, right? Or not? Yes, it does. Okay. So triple bolting strike with her. Kaito is going to triple blade storm. Roberta is going to quad mystic breath again. Sylvie, this turn needs to go back to the base form. She's just going to put up her... Physical and Magic Mitigation, and then Compassionate Knight. 
And then all of it is just going to uh, cap. So you do whatever, store, and then cap. So we're going to send Kaito first just because Torrential Blade Storm is a, what, three hit attack? So that's, or no, four hit attack. So triple chaining that, that's 12 hits. That'll get rid of the boss's Mirage. So we're just going to send Kaito by himself. So Rain does 10,000 needles. So we're going to send Roberta, send Cleum, or send Olive, then Roberta. Wait until Roberta starts and then send Cleum and hope the chain doesn't break. But we should do, you know, a little bit of damage here. I was supposed to send all of first. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. I mean, we're already at, you know, 40% health on the boss. <clears throat> okay. So, do all this. So Sylvie, this turn, is going to put up offense and defense for the Mirage and, you know, whatever else. And then her burgeoning defense. Roberta, this turn, is going to, let's see, refresh Stone Killer. Uh, refresh the Fire Imbue and Fire Amp on everyone. And then Mega Breath. Kaito this turn is going to refresh the big breaks, so stream flux, and then uh, force one. Cleom this turn is going to just triple bolting strike again. Rain is going to triple bolting strike. And Olive is going to... Uh, cap. And then end with her big store ability. Yeah, that sounds good. So we're going to send Olive, then send the Chainers, or send Olive, then Roberta, and then the Chainers. Or actually, Roberta, then all of them, then the Chainers. Mega Breath is kind of delayed with the action order here. So, did I activate our attack buff? Yes. Good. Oh, I think I was supposed to have done a cooldown in there somewhere for a Cleo. It should be fine. <clears throat> so we're going to SLB Olive. I'm going to shift Cleo and do her shifted LB for the LB modifier. Rain on this turn can... What is he doing? Oh, he is just doing some action other than attacking. Um, I guess we can do this one and then pulverizing force twice. Kaito can refresh crashing waves for the perfect dispel and then torrential blade storm twice. Roberta can do her base form LB. Silly can do her shift with LB. Okay, so we're going to send Kaito and Rain, and then Olive and Clem once we hear the chain start.
That was a little too long there. It's fine. We still have Mirage, so we should be fine. Okay, and yeah, we should have been able to finish the boss there, but we'll just finish up this turn. So we'll just quad Mystic with Roberta, Kaito can LB this turn, Sylvie can give Stone Killer over to, honestly it doesn't matter, give Stone Killer to somebody, uh, do some LB fill on Cleo. Just to get back her back up and running. And then... Uh, whatever else, really. Doesn't matter, I guess. Morale fill. Rain can... I don't know. He doesn't have much to do this turn, honestly. We're going to kill the boss. You can just sit this one out. So we will base form LB with Cleo and all of can cap. Do mammals and machines, flaming melons for the bigger modifier. Got a guardian, it's a bigger modifier. Store and then cap. So we will, I guess, just send Olive and then Roberta, wait a sec, and then send the other two. We'll punch with rain. There we go. He's helping. So, and just to call it out, this was my initial clear before my dark team. Um, I had worked this one out and then I started playing around with dark teams and came up with that other clear. I kind of like the dark team a little better just because it's so, oh, I don't know. So different, I guess, the fact that I'm using a Roka. <laughs> but anyway, so, I mean, there was a clear. Uh, Clam should have been higher. I I missed her LB modifier cooldown in the second phase, which I should have had. And I don't think her, uh, I don't think she was, her shifted LB modifier was fully powered up or even applied to her base form LB when we did her second base form LB there, but regardless, um, yeah, like I said, I, I guess that was really only one big burst out of rain, so I don't know, it's kind of hard to compare when you're looking at, you know, multiple burst turns to see how well he actually did, but seems low, but again, it was only one burst, but, so if you happen to have an EX1 rain, uh, you know, here's a clear that's possible for you. And like I said, a good swap for Cleon would probably be Chizuru. At least she'd be able to refresh the Beast Killer in the second phase. We, we didn't have any Beast Killer at all there, so just Stone Killer. But regardless, uh, there it is. So thanks for watching. Hope it helped. Catch you later.